Okay, yay. Well, uh, this was a mixed night of Nickelodeon premieres. Whose idea was this Halloween theme? I don't like it, but, uh, okay, whatever. Um, this week's iCarly was a bombing. Usually a great show, but this episode I have a negative review of. Um, Bad Boy Neville was back. Uh, and the chocolate that gives them the voice? How unoriginal is that idea? The whole plot was just unoriginal. Uh, the only good thing I have to say about it is that Reed Alexander, who plays Neville, displayed some excellent acting talent. Nonetheless, he was a detriment to the episode. Every episode he's in turned out to be a disappointment, so now I see why he is not a regular member of the main cast. It's probably just his character, not him, though. Uh... Jeanette McCurdy as hand sanitizer, yes. Hand sanitizer, the recent invention immortalized by the Lola Martinez line in Zoe 101. Where's the hand sanitizer? Where is the hand sanitizer? <laughs> but uh, this just was not uh, one of the best episodes of iCarly, far from it. Oh, now How to Rock was uh, somewhat better. Uh, the Chosen One, Vampires, Werewolves, you know what that all reminded me of? Ever play the board game Atmosphere? That. If you have, you know what I'm talking about, if not, you don't, but okay. So the Book of Truth. They suggest they go to the Book of Truth and someone else says, I already suggested that. Coincidentally... I am currently reading this uh, biography book of Steve Jobs, and the very same day I read something in it about him. Whenever an Apple employee would suggest an idea to him, he would always say that that was the worst idea ever. But if he actually liked the idea, he would come back in a week, pitch the idea himself as if it was his own idea, and they would say, well, I said that a week ago, and he'd say, yeah, yeah, get on with business. So a coincidence that I read about that and saw this on the same day. The teacher in How to Rock, in his costume, you know who he looked like? Ron Wood from the Rolling Stones, who also played for Rod Stewart's band Faces. Now, the song, uh... Casey was singing at the end was a good song, so uh, I'll give that to it. Uh, then that one guy saying, Grace must have been a hot vampire. Yeah, that guy has a crush on Grace. So, uh, we know something is going to happen with Grace, as I've been saying over and over again. And then at the very end, we get Grace rebelling by not being at uh, Molly's party, instead trick-or-treating. Yes, yeah, something's going to happen with her. It's just a matter of time. Uh, Bucket and Skinner, great episode. Not one of the best, but uh, funny in its own way. All the actors did a good job. Uh, how could she not pull her hair out of the cash register? And then you had the twins coming out saying, come and play with us, reminding us of the movie The Shining. <sighs> It featured this cliché that's getting old, that's been around movies and television forever and ever. Like, when they're trying to say something, and they keep saying, not now, or they think they know what they're going to say and say, yeah, yeah, I know, or whatever. That's... That is old, and it's old. So... Uh, hopefully, uh... Next week will be better with a new uh, Victorious and all that. Till then, this is your Nick 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 Nickelodeon Nutcase.